Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for He Shall Reign Forevermore by Chris Tomlin. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. And one more thing, this video is probably not going to be monetized, so the best thing that you can do to help me out is just subscribe. Alright, grab your guitar, a capo, and a pick, and let's get started. All right, so you'll notice my capo is on the third fret. The key of the song is in B flat, and we're gonna be playing in the key of G to match. You're gonna to need to know the following chords. G, C, E minor, D, and G over B. There's also an A minor in there. Now you might have noticed I played A minor like an A minor 7, and I kind of like that because the electric guitar kind of does something like that too, but a little higher. So to play an A minor 7, you just need your index finger on the B string, 1st fret, your middle finger on the D string, 2nd fret, and avoid strumming the low E string. To play G, you're just going to use a regular traditional G chord shape, but I'm going to drop my ring finger on the B string, 3rd fret, right above the high E string that's also fretted there. C, I'm just going to drop the two top fingers down a string to make a C2 chord shape, really. Again, avoid strumming the low E string just like you would for that A minor 7 we did a little earlier. E minor, you could get away with just a regular E minor chord with that A and D string on the second fret. But I'm also going to add the pinky and the ring finger on the third fret again just to have a fuller sound. Now, you can strum all the strings for that. G over B is actually pretty easy and it's almost like that E minor, I'm just going to lift off on that D string and keep it open, but avoid strumming the low E string. It's almost like a G chord, just minus the low string. All right, the strumming pattern for the first chorus goes something like this. So down, 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 down. That might seem a little annoying, but you only do that the first chorus. You could do it with eighth notes, but it might sound a little spastic. I would say try to avoid that until the second chorus. And even then, just kind of allow the other instruments in the band to help fill the gaps. You don't have to go crazy. And you definitely don't want to do that strumming pattern the entire song. Okay, I'm going to put the chords on screen for you. And I'll say the chords as we go along. So here we go. E minor. C. G. D. E minor. C. G, D, E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C, G, D, A minor, C, G, D, E 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 minor, C, G, G 
G D E minor C G D Here's the bridge E minor C G D 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 G C G D G of B C G Well, everyone, I hope that you were able to enjoy that tutorial. One thing I forgot, there is a B minor that happens only one time, and that's in verse 2. To play that, I played the barred chord version of B minor. You would bar the second fret relative to the capo, put your middle finger on the B string, third fret, and then your ring finger and pinky are going to go on the D and G strings of the fourth fret. <laughs> Now what you could do is play it a little easier. Put your index finger on the E string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 3rd fret, B string. Then keep the pinky and the ring finger on the D and G strings, but then you would only have to strum the bottom 4 strings. So it's obviously up to you what kind of B minor you'd like to use. I like the barred chord version just because it has a fuller sound. Well thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great week. God bless.